Hello, everybody. I am Elizabeth, and I am super happy to be here for another AADL story time. Thanks to all of you who are watching. We always love to have an audience, even if you're watching it when it first airs or later, or you saw it before and you're coming back to watch. So thank you very much. And as usual, we are going to get started by saying hello to everyone. So if I can see your hands, bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as fast as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Couple more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as soft as we can. Great job, everyone. Well, we have lots of good stories to share today, but of course, we have to do the rest of our hello opening. So if I can see your fingers, open them shut. Them, open them, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creepy, creepy, creep them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, ah, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, just like this, this, this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, blow a little kiss. Ah. Nice job, everyone. Well, we have, like I said, many great stories today, as usual, but we have to find out what our letter of the day is, and I have it right here. It is the letter Q. And Q is a fun letter. There's some interesting things that start with Q, like quick and quail. That's a type of bird. And, hmm, Q, um, like the line, if you were to stand in a Q, that's like standing in a line. Uh, we have stories um, about questions today, though. We are doing question stories. All of our stories are going to be about a question or have a question in them. So that is going to be fun. All right. Before our first story, let's take our stretch. Big stretch out wide, big stretch up tall, give yourself a hug. Let's try something new. Tap your toe, tap your forehead, pat your belly, find your shoulder, Find your other shoulder. One more big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Ah. 
All right, I think we are ready for our first story. This one is called, Who is in Rabbit's House? Let's get our felt board ready. Well, here was the house where Rabbit lived. It was on a hill right next to a lake, and every night, Rabbit liked to leave his house and go down to the lake and have a drink of water. Well, one night, it was time for Rabbit to do that. She saw some of her friends down by the lake, and so off she went to get some water. And as she was gone, Caterpillar crawled by Rabbit's house. And he was a curious caterpillar, so he decided to go inside and see what it was like. So, inside he went, into Rabbit's house. Well, when Rabbit came back from the lake, she saw footprints leading up to her house, and she wanted to know who was inside. So she called out, Hello, who is in my house? Well, Caterpillar was pretty comfortable in there. It was big, it was cool, it was cozy, and he decided that he would play a trick on Rabbit and pretend to be something that he wasn't. So he called out, I am big, I am strong, I will eat you up. <gasps> eat me up? Who could be in there? Oh, Rabbit was very scared, and she decided that she needed some help. She didn't want to go into her house all by herself to find out who that big, strong thing was. So she decided to get some help from her friend, Leopard. And she told him the whole story, and Leopard said, oh, Don't worry, Rabbit, I can help you. And so Leopard came to Rabbit's house and called out, Grrr, who is in Rabbit's house? You'll have to fight me. And Caterpillar called out in his big, fake, deep voice, I am big. I am strong. I will eat you up. Oh, eat me up? If he can really do that, uh, I don't think I want to meet him. Sorry, Rabbit. You're on your own. Bye! Zoom! And Leopard left. Well, Rhinoc er, Rabbit knew that Rhinoceros was big and strong, so she called Rhinoceros to come help her. And Rhinoceros stamped her feet outside Rabbit's house and called out, So, who's in Rabbit's house? I'll charge at you with my horn. And Caterpillar called out, I am big. I am strong. I will eat you up. <gasps> eat me up? Ooh. Oh, sorry, Rabbit. I don't think I can help you out. Bye. Zoom. And Rhinoceros left, too. Oh, well... Rabbit was running out of ideas. She thought her friends would be able to help her, but whoever was in her house was really scary. She decided to call on the biggest animal she knew, Elephant. And Elephant came to Rabbit's house and called out, Who is in Rabbit's house? I will trample you with my big, strong feet. And Caterpillar responded, huh, I am big, I am strong, I will eat you up. Huh, nobody's ever threatened to eat me before. I don't know what to do. Sorry, Rabbit. Bye. Zoom. And Elephant left too. Well, Rabbit was pretty discouraged. She didn't know what to do. She sat on the ground and tried to think. All of a sudden, she heard a little laugh. Dee, dee, dee. What? Who's that? What? Frog, is that you? Yes, it is. And I think I can help you. You? But you're so 
tiny? All the other animals who are much bigger than you were really scared of whatever is in my house. Mm, I have a good idea, said Frog. And she pulled out her big green leaf and she rolled it up into a cone that would help make her voice extra loud. And she called out into the house. Who is in Rabbit's house? And Caterpillar responded, I am big. I am strong. I will eat you up. But Frog had a plan. She called out into her leaf, I am bigger. I am stronger. I will eat you first. <gasps> well, Caterpillar knew that she was just a little tiny insect, but whatever was out there was definitely bigger and scarier than her. She crawled out as fast as she could and said, Oh, oh no, please don't eat me. It's just me, Caterpillar. I was just playing a little trick. See, it's just me. Please don't eat me. What? It was Caterpillar the whole time. Ah, oh, well, Rabbit ran and told everyone that it had just been Caterpillar, and they all laughed and laughed, especially Caterpillar, who never forgot how she tricked all the bigger animals. The end. Nice listening, everybody. That's a fun story with some beautiful felts that one of my fellow librarians made. And... Let's see, I think let's, we're going to do a little guessing story. This is a really fun one that I like. And it is called Guess What Flowers. And it comes from a fun little book that you can check out if you would like. But we have some felts that um, make the pictures a little bigger so that everyone can see. Ooh. Look at this. Is it a tulip? Let's see. <gasps> no, it's a kitty cat. Meow. Ooh, look at these. Are they snowdrops? Let's see. Oh, it's a polar bear. Ooh, let's check this out. Are they cherry blossoms? They look like they are. Let's see. <gasps> no, it's a snake. Ooh. Is this, whoop, is this a pansy? It looks like a pansy, if I can hold it straight. Let's find out. It's a butterfly. Ooh, is it a dandelion? Let's see, a real lion. Ooh. Are they daisies? Let's look. No, it's a sheep. And our last one, my favorite one actually, is it a marigold? It looks like a marigold. <gasps> no, it's a chicken. Bark, 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 bark. Nice job, everybody. We have a few other stories like that with fruit and with candy. Some of my favorites to do at story time. All right, let's take a stand up and take a little stretch, a little dance before we do our next story. So if you want to stand up, shake your arms a little, shake your legs a little, shake your head a little, we will do if you're happy and you know it. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. Nice job, everybody. All right, let's sit back down for more stories. But first, uh, to help us get settled, can I see your fingers? I have 10 fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. I can squeeze them tight. I can open them wide. I can wave them all around. I can make them all hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. Nice job, everyone. Okay, our next story is a very silly one called Polar Bear's Underwear. And we have to get our board ready again. Here is Polar Bear. He's so woo, he's so cute. And Polar Bear has a favorite pair of underwear. They are bright red. But today, Polar Bear can't find them. Oh no, he really wanted to wear his red underwear, but where? Could they be? And he said, Where, oh, where is my red underwear? Where, oh, where can they be? I looked up high and I looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? <gasps> Maybe they're not hiding. Maybe they're in the washing machine. Let's see. Well, that's underwear, but is it red underwear? I don't think so. Let's keep looking. Where, oh, where is my red underwear? Where, oh, where can they be? I looked up high and I looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? Well, Maybe they're not hiding. Maybe they're just in the washing machine. Let's see. Mm, well, here's some underwear. Yeah, they fit, but are they red? I don't think so. Let's keep looking. Where, oh, where is my red underwear? Where, oh, where can they be? I looked up high and I looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? Well, they're probably not hiding. They're probably just in the washing machine. Let's look. Mm. Oh, well, here's underwear. 
But what color are these underwear? These underwear are pink, not red. Ugh, let's keep looking. Where, oh, where is my red underwear? Where, oh, where can they be? I looked up high and I looked down low. Did someone hide them for me? Someone probably didn't hide them. They're probably in the washing machine. Let's see. Ooh, here's some underwear. But this underwear is orange, not red. No, oh, Polar Bear really wants to wear his red underwear. Let's keep looking. Where, oh, where is my red underwear? Where, oh, where can they be? I looked up high and I looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? Well, let's check the washing machine again. You never know. There's still, still some clothes in here. So, ooh, here's some underwear, but what color are these underwear? These are blue, not red. We'll have to keep looking. Where, oh, where is my red underwear? Where, oh, where can it be? I looked up high and I looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? Well, there's still a few pieces of clothing in the wash. Let's see. Oh, ooh, here's some underwear. But what color are these? These are purple underwear. That's not red. Uh, we'll have to keep looking. Where, oh, where is my red underwear? Where, oh, where can they be? I looked up high and I looked down low. Did someone hide them from me? All right, let's, I'm gonna reach into the very back of the washing machine, see if there's anything. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. This is underwear and that's, that's red. There's Polar Bear's red underwear. Yay! The end. Nice job, everybody. That's a fun and silly story with Polar Bear and his red underwear. And we have time for one more story today. This one is called Whose Shoes? here. When I wear these great big clompy shoes, heavy shoes, stompy shoes, when I wear these loafer shoes, I go glump, 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 glump. Whose shoes? Daddy's shoes. When I wear these strappy shoes, tippy shoes, slippy shoes, when I wear these sandal shoes, I go clip, clap, slap, clip, clap, slap, clip, clap, slap. Whose shoes? <gasps> Mommy's shoes. When I wear these squeaky, creaky shoes, creaky shoes, leapy shoes, when I wear these sneaker shoes, I go jump, skip, hop, jump, skip, hop, jump, skip, hop. Whose shoes? Brother's shoes. When I wear these tiny shoes, itsy shoes, fitsy shoes, when I wear these footsy shoes, I can't go at all. Whose shoes? These are baby's shoes. But when I wear these snappy shoes, snuggly shoes, just right shoes. When I wear these buckle shoes, 
I walk around super proudly. I skip, I run, I march because whose shoes are these? These are my shoes and I can do anything I want in them. The end. Nice job, everybody. What kind of shoes are you wearing today? I have to say, I am not wearing shoes at all right now. I'm just wearing socks. But I bet I'll put on some shoes later when the rain stops and I go outside. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for another AADL story time. Just a couple reminders that there is the Saturday show on AADL TV every um Saturday at 11 a.m. and that is really fun for all ages to tune into and a special reminder on Halloween um, the other storytellers and I have put together a really fun cool puppet show Halloween special that is going to air on October 31st so if you celebrate Halloween make sure you tune in on Saturday for the AADL Halloween special we're really excited and that's what's replacing our usual big Halloween puppet show that we do at the downtown library so that is going to be really fun maybe you want to dress up and watch or whatever there's some silly costumes of ours in there some great stories some great songs um so if you celebrate halloween that could be a fun choice for you to watch on saturday october 31st and there's lots of other fun um things on aadl tv all the time so just Keep an eye on our events page and see what you might be interested in. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. We love having audiences. We love knowing that you're out there hearing our stories. So thank you. Let's wave goodbye and we will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.